So this is going to be a quick guide and tutorial on how to assign macros and rebind your buttons for the uh, Razer Synapse software. I'm using the Razerless Basilisk V2 uh, wired mouse. Um, I have two uh, profiles set up here. So there's a profile for games and then there's a profile for uh, work and productivity. So let's take a look at the profile for games here. So basically with the software, you're able to remap the buttons. Um, and so for my mouse, I'm able to tilt the scroll wheel left and then tilt the scroll wheel right. So these two are the buttons. And then there's a sensitivity clutch here, um, which is supposed to be used for FPS gaming to change your sensitivity on the fly. I just never found a good use for it. So I've actually remapped it to another button. So the buttons I've remapped to tilt left is a comma, tilt right is a period, and then the sensitivity clutch is a slash sign. So basically on the in-game menu, you can then change these buttons um, in-game um, to suit whatever it is you need. So now you have three extra buttons. So that's for the games. And um, let's take a look at the work the productivity one. So I'm really proud of this one because uh, I use it a lot for work. Um, so basically, Razer Synapse has the option to use a, a, any button as a hypershift button. The hypershift button, what it does is if you click the hypershift and cl click any other button, you have an extra set of buttons. So, so this is what I've remapped mine to. Um, so let's take a look at the hypershift. So basically I use a sensitivity clutch as the hypershift button. So if you click on that, and then I've assigned a bunch of different macros uh, onto it. So for example, mouse tilt left, it moves the window left, and this is a macro. And then mouse tilt right, it moves the window right. So this window, if I click it, is moved out of the way. And I click it, it comes back. So it's really useful for having dual monitors. And then again, Razer Hypershift plus scroll wheel up, it maximizes the window. And then Razer Hypershift down, it minimizes window. So you can see here, the window goes away. And then if I tilt up, there you go, it maximizes the window. Um, Razer Hypershift plus the left click, it switches apps. So if I click that, all the apps come up. And then Razer Hypershift, uh, right click, it alt taps. There you go. Um, so the really nice thing about um, the, the macros here is that you don't need the Razer Synapse software for it to be working. So I have it plugged into a work computer where you can't install any software at all. So I use this um, to really get a lot of productivity done because I'm using dual screens. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can bind these buttons. Um, so for a macro, what you do, you click on the button and you come in here and there's a macro button here. So you go to macro and then you have to click configure macro. So it opens up this screen and then you can record your own macro. So for example, you click record. Uh, let's say we want to do the show desktop. Show desktop is basically uh, from the window shortcut keys, the Windows button plus uh, D. So that's what sh shows shortcut does. And so to record this macro, you click plus, click record, and then you just click the buttons that you need. So on my keyboard now, I'm clicking Windows D. So you see, it takes me out of the record macro, but you can see it has recorded all the buttons basically here. So I'm gonna click stop and it has added extra clicks into it because I had to come back to the software. So then what you can do, you can delete this, delete this. The left click is not no need, not needed and delete all that. So basically what this macro does, uh, right now it's called macro one. Let's just call it, uh, so this is called Windows D goes to desktop. So show desktop two, okay, all right because I already have one for this. So basically, when you assign a macro to show desktop two, the computer is gonna think that you're actually clicking Windows D and then letting go of Windows D. So that's basically what this macro does. And then if you go back to this uh, 
profile again you can assign any button you like to show windows d so for example let's say if you don't want to use hypershift you can just click mouse button four go to macro and then assign show desktop to save so now when i use mouse button four it should go to the um, desktop so you click there you go so it goes back to desktop so i'm going to change this back because i don't need to have this so the keyboard function mouse function mouse button four save Okay, so that's basically it for this software here. Um, and you want to make sure you save your profile uh, to the onboard memory. Um, otherwise, it's not going to work without the Razer Synapse software. So to do that, you click on this onboard profile button and you make drag whatever your profile is named. So I have one for game, one for work, and you drag it to uh, the correct color. So the work is in white for some reason, I don't know why. Let's say game is in red now, and then work is in blue. Overwrite, done. So now see if I click on that, go to games, and onboard profile is red, go to work, onboard profile is blue. Um, anytime it has this icon next to it, that means it's not gonna work without the Razer Synapse software. So if I plug this mouse into something without this software, the close app is not going to work. So that's why it's always important to use macros instead of their shortcuts here, because they have dedicated shortcuts that they've done. So macros will work on every device, even without Synapse software. Um, stuff like multimedia, Windows shortcut, this is not going to work without, it will say it requires uh, Razer Synapse. Um, so these are my two profiles. Um, love to hear what other people have done. Thought about this a, a lot <laughs> and played around, and this works really well for me. Um, so.